Hello, everybody. I'm FTA. And I'm Smoothies. I'm Econos fan. And I hate all of you. Why'd you bring me back? <laughs> because this is your favorite game, you piece of shit. Oh, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> We're here to do a uh, terrible LP, The Revenge of Dr. Robotonic. We're here to do a terrible LP on uh, Sonic the Fighters or Sonic Championships, as it was known in certain markets. Caution, single-seater. Yeah. The best thing about this game is that it has the Death Egg Mark II. In your face, Sonic 4 Episode 2. Scotty, you piece of shit. You should have known that. Oh, they got you me. made that game. <laughs> now, this was, um, you know, as we all know, this is a weird fighting game, which I believe, was this ever released in American markets? Uh, yeah, uh, this is the the American name was Sonic Championship, yeah. Yeah, because I, I remember hearing a report that at the time, uh, the head of, of Sega in the West was like, we don't want to report this game over to America because we don't like the image of Sonic and his friends <laughs> punching the shit like out of each other. Because Americans are stupid and will be confused as to why Sonic is beating the shit out of Tails. So who's playing here? It's me, I'm playing. This is all Chris, and Chris uh, painstakingly played this game like eight times because it, it, we're going to see in every uh, level we are playing as a different character so Chris had to redo this quite a few times wait a minute so you actually so you... not only eight times I had to re-record this again because the original footage just ah. would not work so this isn't a true playthrough you edited the crap out of it oh man it's not original yeah I quit <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this, this whole this whole LP is just a uh, fake. Oh, now you, now you get a perfect. Original of the gameplay, do not steal. All this footage Steven just made in After Effects. We're not even playing the game. Yeah, pretty much. How long did that take to render? Um, it took me longer than I expected because there's eight Chaos Emeralds instead of seven. <laughs> <laughs> Which I never understood. Like, so the basic plot of this game is Doctor Robotonic has a, a space station. <laughs> has a space station in. What is up with that, Amy? Jesus Christ! Um, here's a space station in space, and so you have to. Space for some reason, you need in eight, space. In, in, in space. So for some reason, you need you need all eight Chaos Emeralds to go up there, and instead of like Sonic and Tails just putting their emeralds together, they're like, let's fight and see who gets to go up there. Because we have a we have a rocket ship with one seat, so only one person gets to go. Caution. So instead of, instead of like Knuckles and Amy and Tails and Sonic just putting all their emeralds together, they're like, let's fight for it. It was 1996. Yeah, Times were tough. <laughs> the Saturn was flopping. The 32X was dead. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Sky, you and Chris may know a bit more about this. Was isn't this uh, made using the what the uh, fighting Vipers engine? I think I don't fucking remember. <laughs> Yeah, there was an employee who was just messing around, I guess, and put Sonic <laughs> models into fighting Just vipers, messing around. And Yuji room. Naka saw it, and I guess it went from there. Wow, you retro nerd. <laughs> Which is why I believe in, because uh, in, this version we're playing on is the uh, recent uh, HD download of Sonic the Fighters, hence the uh, possibly stretched footage, depending on if I remember to crop this in the editing process, which I probably won't. Chris! Um, it, it, <laughs> which, which includes... Um, <laughs> I believe Honey the Cat is a playable character. No, Honey is a character from Fighting Vipers, I believe. Yes, or... F but they made her a furry and put her into this game. Well, they have to, they have to you, know, uh, you know, appeal to the Sonic fans. Well, or the course. Sonic Demon Art fans, as it were. Now... Let's not forget that Metal Sonic and Dr. Robotonic are also playable in this release They are. Release uh, they're, the the most, they're the most overpowered, broken well, characters in the history of gameplay. It's amazing. Now, this is something like, so here we have Knack the Weasel, or as he's referred to here, Fang the Sniper. Does like, anyone know why that name was changed? Because it doesn't make any sense. Uh, to make it more edgy, man. Make it more dark. I mean, that's what Sonic fans want, right? More dark and edgy shit, right? Sure, that... Sonic the Fighters was ahead of the curb. So, did, did any of you actually play this live in the arcade? No. I'm pretty sure we all played this nope. on set of, uh, Sonic Gems Collection. Yep, that was the first time I played it. <laughs> My first time playing this game, there was actually, I'm not sure if you guys know, there was um, Sega actually owned a, a mini kind of indoor theme park in London at one point called Sega World. They had a bunch of rides and a bunch of arcade games and actually had Sonic Fighters in that. Um, so I remember the first time playing it and, and the best thing was when, when it first opened, all the games were free. 
So I got to play like the Fighters and the Sega Sonic Arcade game for like for free. It was the arcade game is fucking hard to play with that stupid roller ball, but whatever. And I remember um because like because the games were free, like you could stay on like playing them for like however long you wanted. And I remember me and this kid were playing this game for so long that like a big queue had formed behind us, and someone one of the employees had to be, can you kids like get off because there's people behind you who want to play? And I was like. Fuck you, I'm playing the game! <laughs> I still think you paid too much to play it. Chris, was there a reason why you chose which characters you did for each stage? Um, part of it was mandatory Gareth, Gareth crap. Um, the rest of it was just, I need to do this character. And I just kind of went in a row from left to right. I don't know, I didn't think about it. Aw oh, man, because surely you'd want to have Knuckles fighting in Mushroom Hill. Well, well, no, well, this like this is a knuckle stage, is it? This is SPL stage, isn't it? Right. Yeah, but he he's playing as uh, Bark right now. Which I love Bark. Like he like I don't know why. Like th th there's a few um, like characters that make the introduction in this game, namely Bark the polar bear and Bean the dynamite. To um, Bean the dynamite. <laughs> it's like they are they aren't given any personality or characters here, but in the Archie series. Like, um, Bark the Polar Bear's mute. He never says anything. He just beats the shit out of stuff. And they made, um, Being the Dynamite, who is referred to as now Being the Duck, which makes more sense. Um, they made Being the Duck just insane. Like, he's literally insane in that comic book, and he just likes to blow shit up. It's kind of funny. Hmm. Oh, now you pick Knuckles one stage too late. Well, Knuck Knuckles has been in a casino night. Yeah, ever hear of a little gem called Knuckles and Sonic 2? <laughs> Barely. <laughs> um, have you ever heard of Not Canon? <laughs> no. <laughs> so, so, Sega haven't. <laughs> well, like, what, why, do, why do you think they, they picked, like, um, certain levels? Like, because we have, we have stuff like Casino Night and Mushroom Hill. Like, actual game levels. And then we have stuff just, like, on an ocean, on a flying car. Why did like, they make this think... game? <laughs> Because it has Sonic characters. You know, they, they made this game so that, you know, 20 years later, it could have a very brief one-second cameo in Wreck-It Ralph. Oh, that makes sense. Which, without this game, there, there would be no way to deal with... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, well, I love that stupid taunt. <laughs> yeah, no, Knuckles is like, winning animation is fucking hysterical. <laughs> He's, like, taunting on step. This is weird. What? What? Is Bean facing himself? <laughs> yeah, it was something. I, I, I will give this game credit. In most fighting games, whenever somebody wants to be the same character, you're just fighting the same character. At least this game offers an explanation. For some reason, Eggman comes up to you and just clones you for it's, some it's reason. It's not Eggman, it's Robotonic. Robo I'm sorry, I, I apologize. Dr. Robotonic comes out of nowhere and clones you for no good reason. My own clone! Gareth, I have a question. Why do you want Bean versus you know what, Bean? Though? Um, I think, I don't think I asked for this. I think I think it just ended up this way. No, you definitely asked. I have the Facebook message. I asked for Bean versus Bean. Yeah, you're like Sonic versus Knuckles, bean. Uh, bean versus Bean, and whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so is this Oil Ocean or Metropolis? Both. both. This. It's the crossway this is point. Both. It's Oil Tropolis. Oil <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I love that head turn at the end. I, I love the fact that like when you when you like the defeat of the, the final person, like their eyes follow the camera for some it's like for some reason they wasted programming hours to make the like the peoples on the eyes follow the camera around. Literal hours were spent on eye tracking programming. At least yes. two hours. All four lines of code. <laughs> now, we've, we've been watching this for about nine minutes and haven't talked about once how this game plays. So, oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, <laughs> no, I say like. Chris? Yeah, Chris, go on. See, as you did this. Did, um, that's an awesome move. You can take the hammer, but then she has it again, so fuck this guy. When I play this game, I put it into automatic, which means that um, you don't actually have to put input, input button combos. Input. Input button combos. You just have certain. Um, like up A will give you a combo, and down A will give you a combo, and every combo just kind of has its own shortened thing. So basically, you don't have to think about what you're doing, and that's how I play this game. So I mash buttons, See, basically. Aww. I miss Amy's old design. Her old Amy, design doesn't miss Roscoe. you. 
No, it's weird. It's like um, the combat. It's incredibly simplistic. Like you could literally f like beat this game just by mashing the A button. No, you can't. Win. Wait, how did I Sonic win? Could. He just got his ass kicked by Amy. Did Tails Rocket just say Star Fox? <laughs> <laughs> I doubt it, uh, but let's go with that. I think it was the Lunar Fox. The <laughs> oh, okay. I will say I love this music track. Yep. Mm -hmm. Who did the music for this game? I mean, uh, I'm sure none of us know, but uh, if you uh, give me two seconds, Skyler? I can check. I can check my iTunes. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Find out. Go, some guy. <laughs> go on some, Google some right some now. Guy. I have the Retro, soundtrack, but I don't have it on hand. <laughs> oh, so this uh, match was really this close. This was performed by uh, Maki Moro. Oh yeah, him. Okay, so Chris, how stupidly ridiculous is it to get supersonic in this? Uh, I cussed a lot, and it took me about a week's worth of. Knights. Damn, really? Yeah, I, I don't know why I was so hell bent on it, but it caused me a lot of frustration. Because I said to him, "You must have supersonic, or you're fired." <laughs> we haven't even started yet. And that is why Chris is now part of FTCR. Yeah, we can make him record shit. We don't want to. <laughs> this do. is the only reason. <laughs> this is the after this LP is getting chucked out of the group. Finally. No, it's weird. It's weird how like Supersonic is, I would say, is easily the most difficult um, person to defeat. Um, like Eggman's a pushover in this game. It's it, and it's weird because when you play as him in multiplayer, he's amazingly overpowered, <laughs> but he's so easy to him to Can kill. Can I just him. say, I wouldn't mind the Supersonic unlocking if you could pick him anytime you want, but you only get him for the Metal Sonic fight after round one and this fight. I don't see the point mm. other than bragging rights. Which usually causes more of what the hell is wrong with you as opposed to awesome. <sighs> I like this a small small plot point here, but like you yeah, told you have thirty seconds left to, before the place explodes, and then you spend the last fifteen seconds of those fighting Eggman, so basically Sonic ran to his ship and got out of it in one second. Okay. He's that fast, man. Also his spines clip through Tails' rocket. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's the clipping is a thing in this game because, like, if you go to um the main, if you pick like Knack the Weasel, his hand will clip through his <laughs> nose. It's like this is amazing. I will say, though, like, well, like the um, I actually don't mind these models. I think Sonic the Hedgehog fight hasn't aged that badly. I know, like, they're the what they the like the bodyguards are big bricks type things, but like, I think you know, I still think the graphics don't look too bad. In this day it's age. tacky, but in an appealing way. That's me. Wait, these fights never happened. Hmm. It's stylistic. It's stylistically crappy, and I enjoy it. Yeah. I mean, it's the early age of polygons, but um, I mean nowadays, uh, the scattering between like the gradients of poly to poly is much more fluid. But here, they just didn't give a fuck. Like you can tell, it, you can see each individual square, and it's so weird. But I kind of like it. I like it. It's weird because like how are the, we we kicked the I like Eggman's arms are clipping through his ship. That's amazing. <laughs> but it's like I don't get this. Like we. We killed both of them. Why is he laughing and flying Jesus. away? Jesus! Enter in your name if you don't <laughs> die of a seizure. Crap. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> <laughs> you still won first, Chris. You have to redo this. You can be first. <laughs> Damn. Game over. Game over. What? You lost. We clearly Eggman and Metal beat it. Sonic are teasing you because you have to come what? back. What? Oh shit! What is this shit? It is Dr. Eggman! <laughs> we're, we're just showing off some of the extra characters here. But th this is me and Chris uh, playing the game. This definitely isn't reused footage. <laughs> yeah, this is... Um, if anyone's been watching any of the uh, me and Chris playing this, these are just matches from that video. So you're getting brand new commentary over old footage. And if you have been watching those, Man. stop immediately. And, yeah, and to do something constructive with your life. So I would like... In, in terms in terms of just a... I think because this game is only like $5 on um, the PlayStation, they're probably the same amount on the Xbox 360 one. Like, for five bucks, it's not bad. It's, you know, it's completely mindless. The the, the combat doesn't have much to it, but it's a fun way to waste half an hour every once in a while just by matching yeah. the A button. You say that, but to be honest, I couldn't do it. I had to get one of my friends to do it for me. Do what? For Sonic for Sonic Gems Collection, like, there are actually... There, I wanted to unlock all the extra art, and I was like, I can't do this unless you... Uh, Unless you, uh, you know, beat this game for me. And so I had to get a friend to do it for me. Really? I think this game's pretty pretty easy. <laughs> I mean, I, I suck at fighting games so much that I don't like Super Smash Brothers. Oh, what's the matter with you? Cool. I know, right? That's I'm because joking. I suck at them so Steven, bad. Steven, I'm breaking up with you. 
I know. So who's playing who? Good question. I forget. I think. I think I'm Eggman in this. I think I'm the one that wins in this. Is that just because you won? I think I'm the one who's doing better in this game. I is. Yeah. I beat you as honey. No, like when you were Metal Sonic. You... Oh, I'm saying. Yeah. No. It... Oh. Oh. <laughs> now, Honey the Cat, as we're gonna see, like is um. How'd you select her? She's um. She's off screen. If you if you go to certain characters and, and I believe press the select? like the Y button on. I think. It's, oh, one of them. So like, if you uh. go to yeah, so if if you go to Sonic and press select, you can get um. You can get uh, Metal Sonic. I, I believe if you go to Fang, you can uh, unlock Eggman, and Amy gives you um, Honey. And Honey is terrible. She's, without question, the worst character in this game. Her inclusion, the fact that she's so bad, makes me like this game less. This optional character makes me like the game less. <laughs> it does. That's how bad she is. She's terrible. So, seeing, seeing as we're about to... Um, End this god awful uh, video. But how would you guys sum up um, fighters? Chris, you go first. <laughs> Robotonic. That's all I need to say. <laughs> it's okay. Skyler. I need rocket metal. No, sir. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Again, it's um, it's it's good fun for ten minutes once every six years. But don't if if you haven't played this game, don't go out of your way to play it. Unless you hate yourself, then do. I say go out of your way to play it, you know? Just Shut up. Oh you my see god, we got it. to see up her dress! <laughs> Steven loves it now! 5 out of 10! <laughs> oh, dude, 5 out of 10! Sonic the Fighter is me, IRL. <laughs>